Hey team, Coach Mateo here from rstrength.com. Welcome back to the Losing 50 Pounds video series. In step six, we're gonna talk about how to reduce your risk of weight regain and permanently alter your body weight by a large degree. In the previous video, we talked about alternating fat loss and diet break cycles to break down big weight loss goals into smaller ones that are more manageable. In this video, we're gonna talk about what happens once you've reached your big goal, whether it's 50 pounds, 75 pounds, or 100, and what you should do next. If you've lost a meaningful chunk of weight, 15, 20% or more of your total body weight, my friend, you need a capital B break, not a, just some diet break. You're going to want to hold on to that new body weight for an extended period of time. You're going to want to just allow your hunger hormones to come back down. You're going to want to just dissipate all that enormous diet fatigue that you've accrued throughout this process. When you arrive at your weight goal, you are going to be hungry. Being aware of it, playing smart around that hunger, and being patient are the three best things that you could possibly do in order to reduce the risk of weight regain and make your landing, not a crash landing, but a nice, gentle, and smooth one. Let's talk about it. First thing that you need to do once you reach your goal weight, bring your food back up to a maintenance level. A lot of people talk about a reverse diet process where they gradually add back in 50 calories per day until they stop losing weight. Fuck that. Fat loss dieting is inherently unsustainable and it causes diet fatigue and hunger. What I want you to do is just bump right back up to maintenance levels right away. Start feeling the benefits of that day one. Take your foot off the gas. If you start eating more for breakfast and lunch, I bet you'll feel better by the evening. Not 100% better, but we want you to start just accumulating those benefits and starting to feel that relief of dieting as soon as possible. Number two, stay active. Keep doing cardio. Keep doing steps. Keep working out if that's something you did to lose the fat. We want to just keep that activity level as high as possible. We want to keep that expenditure level as high as possible to make maintaining our new weight as easy as possible. Don't just hit your new goal weight and then go back to being a couch potato and change your lifestyle entirely. That's like starting to make more money and then all of a sudden just spending it all. You do, what's that called? Lifestyle inflation or some shit. And you just all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm rich. And then you feel poor again because you just spending outside your means. Number three, eat mostly healthy foods once you reach your goal weight. I cannot tell you how important this is, especially within the first 30 days. Like I said, you should be aware that you will be hungry once you reach your new goal weight you're gonna be fucking hungry. And in that first 30 days, you will be more susceptible to weight regain by overeating, which is really the only way to regain your weight, than ever. You will be so hungry that you will be able to demolish an entire box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch and eat the box without even noticing and be ready for seconds. But please save that. Continue to eat tons of high fiber, super filling, high volume foods that are low in calorie density. Guess what? You get to eat a fuck ton of them now. 750 calories extra of oatmeal, of rice, of lean steak. Get good and full off all that stuff you were eating before and save those restaurant meals and those treats until you're no longer super ravenous for them. And this is just gonna take time. A lot of the time I say 30 days, that's just like a, a totally, completely arbitrary number, but I would just wait until you're no longer ravenous, until you're no longer trying to gnaw your own arm off. Think about a lion on the savannah. A lion is hunting, prowling. They don't get a gazelle. They don't get an antelope for a day. They don't get it for a week, for two weeks. They're fucking skin and bones. They're so hungry. At this point, their body isn't even letting them sleep because it's like, you need to get up and kill something. Otherwise, we're just going to fucking die. It goes and it kills an antelope. It gets this big feast, eats the whole fucking thing. And it's so bloated and so full and distended. It literally sleeps for three days. After that meal, yes, the lion is less hungry, but it's still not back to its baseline where it was before it started getting hungry and couldn't find food. I literally just finished a diet break. I'm on day nine of it. Oh my God. I didn't know how bad it was until I started eating more. You're going to feel absolutely amazing. Your sleep quality is going to be through the roof. Your training is going to feel fucking dope. Your energy, your productivity, your mental clarity. It takes time to undo that diet fatigue. These biological processes, they are a deep, impactful thing that really takes some time to fully recuperate and get back to baseline levels. Eat at a maintenance level, but make sure it comes from mostly whole, minimally processed, super filling stuff. Your body wants nothing more than that food. Just give it what it wants. Congratulations on watching these videos to this far. In the next video, we're going to talk about what to do to completely transform your body long term if you've lost a bunch of weight and you're still not happy with where you're at physique wise, with how much muscle and how much body fat you have. I've been Mateo from rstrength.com. Again, thank you so much for watching these videos up until now, and I will see you in the next and final part of this seven part series.